The Philadelphia 76ers welcomed back its masked man in Game 3. The real comeback story, though, turned out to be the return of the Sixers' three-point shooting touch. After knocking down a franchise record 18 three-pointers in its Game 1 win and then going ice cold in a Game 2 loss, Philadelphia regained home court advantage in its first round playoff series with a 128-108 victory over the Miami Heat Thursday night at American Airlines Arena by rekindling its stroke beyond the arc. A lot of it was similar from the first game, Heat coach Eric Spoolstra said. Some of it was we didnt get them off the line. It's going to require more. It's as simple as that, to get our defense all the way extended past the three-point line. It's clear the first game and third games played were on their terms. We don't want this to be a crawl. But we certainly don't want these games crawling up to 130 points. That's in the wheelhouse, not ours. Embiid, playing his first game in the series and for the first time since he fractured an orbital bone near his left eye on March 28, led the way for Philadelphia with 23 points, 7 rebounds and 4 assists in 30 minutes. I am just so proud of what he did on the court, Sixers coach Brett Brown said of Embiid. Not only did he come back on the road in the playoffs, but HES playing with a mask. For him to come back under those terms in that situation and produce the results he produced and lead us to a playoff win, I'm proud of him. Embiid was hardly alone. Marco Bellinelli and Darius Arik continued to kill the heat in this series. Each knocked down four of Philly's 34 three-point attempts. The heat, which led at halftime and trailed by only two points entering the fourth quarter, finished 16 of 33 from three-point range itself. But the Sixers, which also got 19 points, 12 rebounds and 7 assists from rookie Ben Simmons, proved to be too much in the fourth quarter. Game 4 is Saturday afternoon at 2.30 p.m. Justice Winslow had a phenomenal first half for the Heat offensively, scoring 19 points and making four three-pointers. But he didnt score in the second half. He did finish with 10 rebounds, a pair of blocks and several more inspiring moments on defense. Goran Dragic led the Heat with 23 points and 8 assists. Josh Richardson added 14 points and James Johnson finished with 12. Dwayne Wade, the hero for the Heat in Game 2 with 28 points, finished with 8 points on 2 of 10 shooting. The Heat trailed 96-94 after 3 quarters and quickly fell behind by 10 after the Sixers opened the fourth quarter on 9-1 run. The deficit only grew from there. Hassan Whiteside, who scored 6 points, grabbed 10 rebounds and played a total of 28 minutes in the two games played in Philadelphia, once again played very little for Miami. Plagued by foul trouble, Whiteside finished with 5 points, 2 rebounds and a block in a little over 13 minutes. Whiteside picked up his fourth foul guarding Embiid with 8.27 to play in the third quarter and didnt return until early in the fourth quarter. He played only two minutes in the fourth quarter and was yanked after making his only field goal attempt, a dunk on a lob from Wade with 8.41 remaining. Taylor Johnson, who scored 14 points and took only 10 shots combined in games 1 and 2 in Philadelphia, found his stroke. Back home in Miami, he finished with 10 points on 4 of 4 shooting, but played only 17 minutes. Before Embiid and the Sixers outscored the Heat 32-14 in the fourth quarter, Miami and Philadelphia played a wild back-and-forth game through three quarters that featured 17 lead changes. In all, there were 56 personal fouls between the teams and six technical fouls including a pair physical taunting fouls on Wade and Sixers reserve guard Justin Anderson after they got involved in a small skirmish near the basket with 10-26 left in the second quarter. Philadelphia used some hot shooting in a 20-5 run in the first quarter to build an early 32-21 lead before the Heat responded with a couple runs of its own. The Sixers were 9 of 19 from 3 by half time. The Heat, meanwhile, led by Winslow's four first half threes was 10 of 16 from beyond the arc and took a 64-63 lead into the intermission. Embiid's new face guard and goggles were knocked off his face midway through the second quarter when Kelly Olynyk knocked the ball free. After Bam Adebayo had up the loose ball and dunked, Winslow walked over and stepped on Embiid's goggles before handing it over to the refs. Embiid had to go to the bench and wait a few minutes to have the mask and goggles fixed before returning to the court. It's part of the game. It's good for the game, Brown said of Winslow. Justice is good people. He's highly competitive. You can see the spirit in which the game was played. There's no other word for it but physical. That example with justice is as good as an example of just the mindset everybody had tonight.